A lightning strike ignites a fire in Little Venus, Wyoming. Ryan Jordan leads a team on a routine mission to make sure the blaze burns itself out. So as we were hiking in on the trail, about two miles in, we had some scratchy radio communication that the wind was picking up, the fire had changed some of its fire behavior and started burning down canyon. Any firefighter would know a nightmare was approaching. Repeat, this is a warning. Winds are changing direction. As far as we can tell, it's headed southwest. Could be headed your way, and it's moving fast. You better get out of there. As Ryan hears the warning, his brain takes control. Deep in the brain, two parts, each an inch across, make up the control center. It manages our fight or flight response, hardwired by evolution. Okay, let's go. It drives us to act without thinking. Guys. The control center collects information from the outside. Normally, the data goes to the brain's thought center for study and reflection. But in emergencies, the controller works differently, signaling nearby areas that make up the disaster center. Without a thought, the firefighters' brains command them to flee. In a blink, the men take off. Stoked by gusts, the flames close in. In the firefighter's brain, the disaster center engages automatically. It orders release of a natural turbocharged stimulant, adrenaline. Their hearts beat faster. Blood is redirected from non-essential tasks, like digestion, to parts of the body that can mean the difference between life and death. Blood floods their muscles with fuel and oxygen. In a burst of strength, the firefighters race to survive, but the firestorm explodes faster. Their bodies are near collapse. But their brains are working furiously. When time seems about to run out, the human brain can pull an amazing trick. It appears to slow time itself, creating precious moments that might help us escape our brain sees in a series of snapshots about 30 frames a second in an emergency that rate increases letting the brain take in more information in less time the effect slows time as the flames near the firefighters brains are observing at maximum speed Seconds feel like hours, giving them a chance to work out what to do. It feels like things are happening really slow. You have time to think about it, but it's actually seconds that you ran through. Should I run? Should we go up canyon? Should we deploy our fire shelter right here? They agree to stop and take cover. Come on, let's go! And just in time. You hear An aerial image shows where the team made its last stand. Each dot marks a firefighter's shelter. All around, desolation. This extraordinary survival story has its roots in the brain power that we all have.